Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chef Dan. I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your week six bets. Um, let's get everything started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are currently at 515 subscribers. The next goal is going to be 1K. That's going to be the giveaway. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. All right, let's continue to push on and let's get this money. All right, starting off with our first game in London. We got between the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars are coming in feisty, tough and feisty each and every week, getting closer and closer to that opportunity to get their first win, um, especially for Trevor Lawrence. Dolphins coming in with the first game, well, second game, with Tua Tungvalor, who's been out for the last past four weeks. There's a lot of question marks on the Dolphins side. They're struggling on defense. This is not the same Dolphins team that people thought that was going to be good. Um I like the Jaguars in a neutral site game right here with the plus three. I think they can even pull away with a win. There's just too many question marks on the Dolphins side. There's enough talent on the Jacksonville Jag Jaguars side that they can muster up a win with James Robinson, Marvin Jones Jr., and uh, Chenault. Visca Chenault also is a very dynamic wide receiver. So give me the Jags in this game, all right? Next game is going to be the L.A. Chargers against the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens coming off a big comeback win against the Indianapolis Colts. Chargers off a big win against the Browns. And I think they keep the ball rolling um, on the road. The, there's, the Baltimore Ravens won't get lucky enough again where they face a team that struggles in the secondary, especially not the L.A. Chargers. They have the secondary to compete with the Baltimore Ravens. You have no Sammy Watkins. And then you have Rashad Bateman who's coming Coming back from IR, you don't know how much they're going to use him, plus the fact that he's a rookie. There's there's, there's too many question marks. And then, and then the fact that the LA Chargers defense is so good, if they stop the pass, it's going to create a one-dimensional offense for the Ravens, and that creates problems. So give me the point line on the Chargers and even the money line. I think they can squeeze away another win. They've been winning big, big games early in this season as of now. Uh, next game will be the Minnesota Vikings and the Carolina Panthers. Um, this game is a coin toss. I just, if just looking at it, you have a solid Panthers defense. Um, you have the Minnesota Vikings who are putting everything together um, right now. The question mark is what Sam Donald are you going to get? Are you going to get the turnover prone one or the efficient one? And I'm going to bet that the Vikings um, will show up. And they can create turnovers. They can rely on Dalvin Cook. They have the better wide receivers in Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen. Um, just all around, I think the Vikings are a better team. So give me the money line and even the cover. It's only a field goal, so I think they can at least win by three points. Um, just a lot of question marks. No Christian McCaffrey. They're going to be relying on Chuba Hubbard. That's another downgrade. Give me the Minnesota Vikings. Next game is the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Bears are a home dog, five and a half points. Not saying that's a lot. It's just not, it's not surprising. It's a rookie quarterback and Justin Fields. They're really not um, trusting him to throw the ball. Um, they're, they're really coddling him right now and just relying on the run game. That makes you one-dimensional. That's not good uh, going up against the Green Bay Packers where you're going to need to put up touchdowns. All right? If you know if they know you're going to run it, then they're going to stop that. And then you're going to be relying on a rookie quarterback to to get you a win against one of the greatest of all time in Aaron Rodgers. Give me the Packers money line. Um not sure if I'm willing to take the point line. You can if you want to. The safer option is going to be the money line. Next game is the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Detroit Lions. The Bengals are clearly the better team right here. The Lions are very feisty. Um and they still haven't had a win in like two years. So is it going to become against the Bengals? I don't think so. I think Joe Mixon um, can, you know, tell Joe Burrow, take a back seat. And this is the 32nd ranked run defense in the league in the Lions. And they can force feed Mixon and run it down their throats. Give me the Bengals money line. Um, I'm going to stay away from the cover because the Lions have been coming through each and every week with that. Um, but I definitely think the Bengals can come away with a win. All right. Next game will be the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. Colts are another team where I cannot trust them. They had a double-digit lead against the Ravens. They were doing fine um, stopping the run, had a problem in the secondary. That's been the story all season long. And now you have a Houston Texans team 
who's been playing feisty, had to almost beat the New England Patriots. And that's a rookie quarterback going against Bill Belichick. And he almost shocked the world right there. Um, I saw the Colts give up a lead last week. I cannot trust them to even hold a lead against the Texans. And that's more than a touchdown. That's 10 points. Give me the 10 points in the Texans. Um, maybe, not maybe, Davis Mills probably can put another good, solid game together and definitely compete with the Colts, all right? They lose by nine, you're fine, you have 10 points. That's a good, that's enough coverage right there. Next game will be the LA Rams and the New York Giants. You have the Giants uh, coming in off an embarrassing loss against the Dallas Cowboys, a team which too much firepower, that's pretty much what that is. Um, obviously, they saw a lot of injuries in that game. They're trying to get back to 100%. There's no, there will be no Saquon Barkley in this game, and that's another benefit to the LA Rams. This is another high-powered offense. This is too much for them to compete. Give me the point line and the money line in the LA Rams. Um, the over is a maybe if I'm choosing one or the other, but uh, definitely the safer options are going to be the money line 100%. And if you're willing to point line, uh, I think Daniel Jones is going to be too much on his plate. They'll, they should be able to handle Devontae Booker and get a nice win in New York, or excuse me, New Jersey. Let's be 100% correct about that. Um, next game will be the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington football team. The Chiefs coming in off an embarrassing loss. Not embarrassing, shocking loss. Not shocking. Tough loss. That's the correct word. Tough loss against the Buffalo Bills, who they handled uh, last year on their road uh, to the Super Bowl. But this Washington team has the front seven to create problems for Patrick Mahomes. Um, and they are on the road right now, the Kansas City Chiefs. But I think they put a solid win together here. The problem with the Washington football team is their secondary is horrible. All right. The Chiefs have upgraded their offensive line. That should provide them enough time going against the front four of Washington. And Tyreek Hill should have a great day. Kelsey, uh, Miko Hartman, any one of the wide receivers. All right. This should be a very high scoring game. Give me the over on the 54. Give me the money line um, on the Chiefs and the point line as well. Okay. We're going to be bullish about this. People are down on the Chiefs. Um, and now I think they can get a cover. All right. Next game will be the Arizona Cardinals and the Cleveland Browns. This game, we have question marks on the coaching for the Cardinals. Uh, Kingsbury has COVID. Uh, some other coaches on that team have COVID as well. They're going to be out. Um, you're not getting the same you know, lead voice on that Cardinals side. Cleveland Browns coming off an embarrassing loss against the Chargers where they had the lead and let it go. Um, I think they can rely on the running game. Even without Nick Chubb, they still have guys in Kareem Hunt, Dearness Johnson, and Felton, their rookie running back. They can rely on those three guys, and they can rely on their defense to kind of corral Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. I think this can be a wake-up call for them. Ooh, Cardinals are the only undefeated team left in the league, and I think that stops now. Give me the Cleveland Browns at home at minus 170. Um, there's a reason why this line came out like this, and it's only gone up. Um, Cleveland Browns should be favored in this game. Next will be the Las Vegas Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Raiders, controversy on the coaching side with John Gruden being fired. Uh, Mike Mayock is stepping up in his place, and they got an interim coach as well. But the Denver Broncos are just too balanced. Um, no Max Crosby as well. That's big for the Raiders. Um, Teddy Bridgewater presents consistency in that defense for Denver in mile high altitude is another problem for the Raiders. I think that's too much for them to handle. They can rely on Melvin Gordon. They can rely on Javante Williams. They have Cortland Sutton, all these answers for the Raiders and who's going through a lot of, you know, internal issues. We're not going to understand or know how they're going to respond, but I think, it's just too much that the Denver provides, um, and I, they get a, a win. I'm not sure about the cover. I don't think they cover, but definitely the win. Next game is the Dallas Cowboys and the New England Patriots. Cowboys have been putting everything together, clicking on all cylinders. The running game and Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, um, and the defense has been showing up each and every week, getting interceptions in each and every week. And now you've got the Patriots, Bill Belichick. He can put up a decent fight. 
but I think it's just too much for him to handle and Mac Jones. They don't have enough firepower to compete with the Dallas Cowboys. Give me the minus 170 money line and the point line is just a field. If you can get this under a field goal at two and a half, I think that's a guarantee. That's where they, they get you with the three and a half. I think if, if anything, I'm going to pull it down to two and a half um, and be sure on that. But definitely Cowboys have too much firepower going up against the New England Patriots. Uh, we got two games left here. Sunday night football will be the Seattle Seahawks with no Russell Wilson going up against a struggling Pittsburgh Steelers teams. Very um, Jekyll and Hyde team here. No Juju Smith-Schuster. They're going to be relying on Claypool um, and Deontay Johnson, which obviously is good enough, but it's Big Ben, the same Big Ben, which he isn't. So can the Seattle Seahawks defense create some problems up front? They can. Jamal Adams can be a big X factor in blitzing and stopping the run. And I think if they for stop the run in Najee Harris, they can force Big Ben to make some mistakes, which he's prone to doing. And um, the safer side on this is the plus five in Seattle. I do not trust, I cannot trust the Steelers um, watching them play the first five weeks. A lot of problems on both sides of the ball. But um, I think Geno can put up enough offense to keep this close. All right. Next game will be the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. You have a home dog in the Tennessee Titans against the Buffalo Bills. Coming off a huge win against Kansas City. That basically was their Super Bowl. Um, and how are they going to you know, respond after a big emotional win there, finally getting over the hump on the Chiefs? Usually this is a, a trap spot. And I think Tennessee can put it all together. They have the answers in Julio Jones and A.J. Brown. They have the running game. Um, the lead rusher in Derrick Henry that can control the pace of this game, the flow of this game, keep the ball out of the hands of Josh Allen. Give me the plus five and a half for the home dog and maybe even the win if you're willing to take that risk. But um, I'm definitely going to be on the Titan side just because uh, emotional game against the Chiefs. The Bills are they're coming in. And if everything goes correctly, um, they can have the formula to beat the Bills. All right, question marks are obviously on the Tennessee Titans secondary, but I think they have enough in this type of situation um, that they can keep it close and even win the game. All right, those are going to be the picks for week six. Uh, let's give you the guaranteed uh, bets. All right, so obviously you can't do a 20-leg parlay. Let's, let's take off some of these options. Um, I'm not going to be a guarantee on the t Titans. This is going to be a guarantee, so I think definitely – will definitely, definitely happen for you guys. Um, we're going to trust the Broncos. Um, that game against Cardinals and Browns, uh, coin toss. We're going to trust the Chiefs to get the win. We're going to trust the Rams. Um, not going to trust the Texans if this is a guarantee in that situation. I trust the Bengals. I trust the Packers. Vikings, Panthers can be a coin toss. As well as Chargers, Ravens can be a coin toss. And I'm not trusting the Jaguars if this is um, a guarantee. You got six legs, okay, at plus 776. You put $10 on that, that's about $87, a little bit more than that. Um, if you put $100, obviously that's $800. So uh, I think this is going to be our guarantee for week six. Let's see if it comes through. I'm definitely going to put money on this um, as long as these six teams win. You're in the money, plus 70 bucks, $77, guys. Come on. Can't get better than that. Um, if you have any questions on the picks, please message me through Instagram at MessengeSD. I think that's easier. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And yet again, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengeSD. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out, guys.